Jane McCartney. I'm a chartered psychologist in the UK and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about narcissist, narcissism, so you can identify it, you can survive it. If I can get you to hit the like, notification, subscribe button and the more people that find out about these videos, the more help there is out there for them. So in today's video, I particularly wanted to talk about how to think like a narcissist. Now, the first question you're going to ask yourself is why the hell would I think like a narcissist? I don't want to be that person. And that's the difference. You are not being like them. You are thinking like them. And the reason that you would think like them is to be one step ahead of them. It's not actually that difficult. People think that narcissists, yeah, and they can be very wily. They can be very manipulative to get what they want, which is to remain, you know, for you to be the person that's giving them their supply. You know, it's all about them. Narcissists is all about me, me, me. They have to be number one. They're very self-enamored. And if they feel a threat to that, that's where they they start getting nasty. They can start getting physical. They can give you the silent treatment. That's not uncommon. So being able to think like a narcissist will be a really good tool for you. And being able to predict what they might be like in certain situations, but not to acquiesce to them, not to give in to them, but just to kind of think like an, a, a narcissist will help you. Narcissists are essentially children, toddlers that have never grown up. And it might have been their circumstances that, you know, they were possibly brought up with a narcissistic parent, say, for instance, and that is modeled to them. Well, if it worked for mum, then it's going to work for me. And, you know, I see how she treated people and she got on all right, so I'm going to do that. Or they are terrified of being exposed as being vulnerable and weak. And number one agenda with a narcissist is I'm going to make you the victim because if you know somebody has to be the victim and if you're the victim, then I'm not. And that's how they think. They don't want to be the one that ends up with a sort of like the sticky end of the, you know, the, the stick. They want to be the one that is above all that. And they will kind of be thinking all the time, you know, their number one thought is, you don't know what I'm thinking. You don't know what I'm going to be doing. You don't know my next move. They always think that they're one step ahead of everybody. And actually, it's really, really easy to see how they think, because if you can kind of cut them off and, you know, almost predict what they're going to say or do, that will be useful for you. Now, let me give you an example. Say, for instance, um, I'm trying to think about somebody that I um, dealt with in my consulting room. And this person had a, a problem with her father. He was a highly narcissistic individual. He didn't really like um, the rest of the world, really. You know, he had very few friends. He'd stayed in the same job endlessly his entire life. And that was happy. And he used to sort of like bully and get his mum, uh, you know, her mum rather, to do everything possible for him because that was his status quo. Mum was kind of, oh, well, you know, it's all a bit too late. I've been with this person for 40 years. I think it's all a bit too late for me now. But this person, um, this, this lady, wanted that to change because she loved her mum. She really wanted the best for her mum. So she was able to kind of, you know, over a few sessions or whatever, we would think about what if her mum kind of made, you know, moves to, she wanted to go on holiday, say, for instance. This guy would never go on holiday. He was a, um, what was he, it was something to do with farming or something like that. So it was always about seasons and, you know, it was never an appropriate time, but she really wanted her mum to go on holiday. But she started to think about how he would stop her doing that and what she could put into place. So when mum would then say, and she would say it with her, oh, you know, I'd like to go with my daughter on a um you know sort of like a, a, a walking tour or something like that they'd keep it within the country so she was always if necessary at a you know a phone call away um long story short she managed to get away the mum really enjoyed herself I can't remember I think they went on a boating holiday or something anyway I can't remember the absolute details of it and even though the dad tried to call the daughter filtered the calls to the mum and eventually she would say, oh, yeah, he called yesterday, but actually I checked in with him today and the thing that he couldn't find, I don't know, an iron shirt or something to eat or, or whatever it was, I was able to be able to furnish him with that. And when the mum got back, wow, did she get the silent treatment? But she said it was kind of worth it because she'd had such a good time and she was actually outside of that space almost for the first time, unbelievably, in 40 years that she could start to think 
for herself. She could actually see that there was a world outside of this guy. And the lady who'd taken the mum on holiday, she was able to think like him. She'd been well-versed. She'd grown up with him. She knew what his moves would be, and she was able to think like him. So that's just kind of one example of being able to think like a narcissist, but don't be a narcissist, because it can be useful for you. Um, the long and, you know, story ending to that about the mum suddenly finding a life when I we parted company because that often happens when we you know funding runs out or or, or whatever um mum had actually started a little kind of part-time course not far away from from the dad but she'd started not a course she'd actually started working or something she could I think she was a trained uh typist or something back in the day so and she'd gone to go and work and it you know, she didn't earn much money and but for the couple of afternoons that she was able to get out of the house that kind of was enough for her to be able to tolerate the, the dad who knows what happened beyond that I, I don't really know but I'm just giving you examples of people there is life beyond a narcissist even if it's after 40 years thank you so much for watching again if I could ask you to just hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, just put some comments below that would just be absolutely fantastic thank you keep well and I'll speak to you again soon bye